And we're going to go right into our next game. Our next game is called the laundry basket game. And again, this isn't so much a trick. It's more of a way to see how your dog solves problems. And um, it's a scent kind of a game. So what we're going to do is I have a bowl of food right here in a laundry basket. Sit. So I'm going to have him sit and wait. And then what I'm going to do, sit, wait. I'm going to put the bowl down, wait. And I'm going to put the basket on the top, upside down. And then I'm going to tell him to get it. And we're going to see what he does and how he gets the food out of the, uh, how he dis discovers how to get the food out. OK, find it. Get it. Get it. Good boy. So using paws is good. Some dogs may use their nose. Nudge it. Get it. And this is a game you may want to play on a carpet or on the ground um, so they can get their nose under there a little bit easier. On a, a vinyl floor or a smooth floor, it would be harder to get their nose underneath and paw that, that up. Go ahead, get it. Get it. Up. <laughs> get it. Get it. Boy, get it. Groundhog. Do the groundhog. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. He has actually spilled the food and moved the basket, and the food is laying here, but he has not realized the is actually way over here and he's pushed the dish in the basket way over there so um, it, we'll see what he does when he smells out that the food is not even in the basket anymore find it find it find it find it so if your dog pushes the basket hard enough they can flip the food bowl over underneath <laughs> and then get the food out um, by just pushing the basket over, which is kind of funny. Yay, there he finally found the pile of treats. So that is a pretty clever, um, though unintentional way of solving the problem. So let's see how your dog does with the laundry basket game. Good boy, so here's our next uh, trick, this time with the second dog, and um, we'll see what she does with this. Again, I'm just, I got the food here. She knows there's food in the bowl. You put the uh, basket over the top, the side of the way, put the basket over the top and we'll see what she does, how she solves the problem. Whereas the first dog knocked the basket, just, just pushed it hard enough with his paws to flip the bowl over underneath and then get the treats out from underneath. We'll see how she does. Ready? There it is. Okay, get it. Get it. Get it. Good girl. Get it. Find it. Come on. Hey, it's in here. Find it. Scotty. Come on. Get it. Hey, baby. Scotty. Find it. It's in there. Get it. Can you get it? <gasps> get it. It's in there. Get it. It's in there. Get it. Get it. Come on. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Good girl. What are you going to do? Get it. Get it. Good. So she's pushing now with her nose. Go ahead. Get it. Yay. Good girl. Get it. Yeah. Get it. Go ahead. Get it. Get it. Good. Good paw. Get it. Come on. Get it. Get it. She's 
in search mode now. Come on, get the treat. Come on. Hey. Get it. I said, get in there. Get it in there. Get it in there. Get in there. Get it. Good girl. Get it. Where is it? Did you find it? Find it. Find it. to figure out how to get it and she may not figure it out on her own oh there we go she got a little nose nudge she lifted the edge about that far come on there it is get it good girl get it good get it This is fairly heavy. The bottom is fairly heavy. Or the little top edge of the basket is fairly heavy. Oh, she may have it. She had it. Lift it up. There we go. Good, good, good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, she's got the bowl tipped over just like her brother. And she got it out by just pushing it around, just tipping the bowl up and getting the food out under the edge. So, um, again, let's see what your dogs do with it. Good girl. 